In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on April 29, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on the these three NHL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Toronto Maple Leafs vs. Tampa Bay Lightning The NHL playoffs are in full swing and that brings us a first-round matchup from the Eastern Conference coming to you from the Sunshine State. The Toronto Maple Leafs are on the road as they take on the Tampa Bay Lightning in Game 6 of their best-of-seven opening round series Saturday night. Tampa Bay drew first blood and stole home ice advantage by rolling to a 7-3 victory back on April 18th in Game 1 of the series. Toronto responded with a 7-2 home win on April 20th in Game 2 before rallying to win Games 3 and 4, both in overtime, on the road in Tampa to take a 3-1 series lead. Their backs to the wall, Tampa Bay rallied for a 4-2 win to stave off elimination third Thursday night. Will the Lightning prevail at home to force Game 7 or can Toronto close things out for their first playoff series win in 19 years? The Maple Leafs played solid defense in winning the last game after losing the previous three giving up 16 goals. Can they keep the Toronto attack at bay for two games in a row? I don't think so. Samsonov gave up three goals in the last game and seven in the last two games. Still, I look for him to be pretty solid in between the pipes in this game even though Tampa Bay has scored four goals in each of the previous two games. The Toronto attack will come back to life in this game and pepper Vasilevsky early and often. The Lightning are the team that has been the top of the mountain in the Eastern Conference in recent years, making three straight trips to the Stanley Cup Finals while winning two titles, but they have been pushed to the limit this season. Toronto isn't the same team that they were in previous years. The Maple Leafs have been physical, they've gotten production throughout their four lines and goaltending has been solid if unspectacular. All good things must come to an end. In the case of the Lightning, attrition, injuries and the grind of three long postseason runs catches up with them as they run out of steam. It's a gut check situation for both teams here. Toronto is trying to earn their first trip to the second round in 19 years while Tampa Bay is trying to avoid elimination by winning here. The Leafs will get it done on both sides of the ice and get the W closing out this series and advancing to the conference semifinals. So the Toronto Maple Leafs money line is our full game side pick. 10 of the last 14 meetings between these teams have ended up over the number, including 9 of the last 12 playoff meetings. Game 5 was the first game in this series to fall short of the mark and even that game had a combined 6 goals on the board. We're not looking for the return of the left wing lock along with dump and chase hockey here. There simply is too much talent on both sides to see this being a low scoring affair. Each team will be going for the knockout blow, Toronto to close things out, Tampa Bay to keep their season alive. That leads to a lot of open ice and odd man rushes. This game winds up past the total mark. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. New Jersey Devils vs. New York Rangers The New Jersey Devils and the New York Rangers returned to the Big Apple on Saturday for Game 6 of their Best of 7 Eastern Conference First Round Series. The Rangers return home on the brink of elimination after dropping a 4-0 decision on Thursday night. After dropping the first two games at home, the Devils have won three straight and are on the verge of clinching the series. The Devils are 30-12 in their last 42 road games and 5-2 in their last seven overall. The Rangers are 0-4 in their last four home games and 2-5 in their last seven overall. The under is 5-2 in Devils' last seven conference quarterfinals games. The under is 7-2 in Rangers' last nine overall. The Devils are 5-2 in the last seven meetings. The road team is 4-1 in the last five meetings. The underdog is 4-1 in the last five meetings. After the first two games of this series, it looked like New Jersey was dead, but they've come back to tie this series with two huge wins on the road and the momentum of this series has shifted in the Devils' favor. With three straight wins to take the lead in the series and have the chance to advance to the second round tonight. 
During the regular season, the Devils won three of the four games between these divisional rivals. I give them a pretty big edge offensively. New Jersey has been fantastic offensively, scoring the fourth most goals in the NHL, having generated the third most expected goals and the sixth most high danger shots in the league. The Rangers have scored the 12th most goals in the NHL, but they've only generated the 12th fewest expected goals and the fourth fewest high danger shots in the league. I want to believe in the New York Rangers at home so we can see a game seven and their defense is still good enough to bounce back and get the job done here. However, the Devils have put the Rangers in a straight jacket these last three games, allowing a combined two goals during that stretch. Basically, in their last three games, the Devils are allowing 0.66 goals and 27 shots on average, just a lead stuff. Combine that with the Devils' dominance on the road this season, and it's hard to turn down the plus money. Give me the Devils to reach the second round for the first time since 2011 to 2012, so the New Jersey Devils' money line is our full game side pick. After going over this total in each of the first two games with identical 5-1 to one scores, the two teams have combined to go under the total in each of the last three games. The two teams reside at the bottom of the playoff standings in goals per game and that trend should continue in Game 6. The two teams are completely familiar with each other and quality scoring chances will be at a premium in Game 6. This will be a tight and low scoring affair. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Edmonton Oilers vs. Los Angeles Kings The Edmonton Oilers face the Los Angeles Kings in Game 6 of the first round. The Oilers have a 3-2 series lead after winning back-to-back -back games to take over the series. The Kings are one loss away from elimination but hope to bounce back on their home ice and even up the series. The Oilers look to advance to the second round with a win while the Kings hope to avoid elimination and the upcoming game should be a great one. The Oilers are 20-8 in their last 28 road games and 35-17 in their last 52 over Overall, the Kings are 13-5 in their last 18 home games and 5-13 in their last 18 conference quarterfinals games. The over is 24-10 in Oilers' last 34 road games. The under is 4-1-1 in Kings' last 6 Saturday games. The Oilers are 7-3 in the last 10 meetings in Los Angeles and 5-2 in the last 7 meetings. The favorite is 38-15 in the last 53 meetings. The Edmonton Oilers and Los Angeles Kings return to their Round 1 matchup in the NHL playoffs. What a series this has been. It has been a completely back and forth series, but after falling 2-1 in the series, the Oilers have stormed back with two straight wins and a 3-2 series lead. Now back in Los Angeles, the Kings are in do-or-die territory. This should be a close game, but I will take the Kings to claim victory and force a Game 7. They are in their home building, and they have been in their home city since Wednesday morning. The crowd will do their best to keep their team energized, which will help keep the Kings bench fully alive. The winner of this series could go either way, but the Kings are likely to have a higher level of jump to keep their playoff hopes alive. So the Los Angeles Kings money line is our full game side pick. The series began with scoring totals in the mid-range, but in the last two games there have been a plethora of goals. Games 4 and 5 each ended with 9 goals, for a large total of 18 goals in two games. It seems things are opening up on the ice. The Oilers have found their groove with 11 goals in the last two games, but what could change in this game is a hungry Kings team keeping constant offensive pressure. Neither goalie has looked great in this series, and the offenses are way too comfortable. The Oilers are feasting on the power play and are one of four teams averaging at least four goals these playoffs. The Kings have scored three or more goals in four of the five games. The Kings will be facing elimination in this game, but they will be on home ice for this matchup. This series has been fairly even, with Edmonton controlling most of Game 5. Fireworks left and right here in this one. This has been a higher scoring series and Game 6 will be no different. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.